ready to glaze this uh, fruit bowl or colander. Uh, I'm choosing the glaze that is uh, not so uh, uh, showing too much of a con contrast. When you're dipping in the glaze, uh, well, you will have some drip, and the drip uh, it will show. So uh, choose the glaze that is uh, more forgiving. All right, so I'm going to uh, glaze the bottom first. Just using my um, a bubble. All right, I'm ready to glaze this colander. Uh, root ball, berry ball, whatever you want to call. Um, I'm choosing the glaze that is more forgiving, uh, meaning uh, when the glaze is thicker and thinner, it won't show that much difference. Because when you are dipping in the glaze, you will have a lot of drips, and the drip is if the glaze is showing the contrast of a difference when it's thicker and thinner, uh, it's not going to look nice. So. Choose that kind of glaze that is more uh, forgiving. So first I'm going to uh, just coat the glaze on the bottom. Again, I'm putting it on the wheel and do that. Okay, let me show you. So that's how I do. Uh, put it on the, uh, on the wheel and then I start from the center slowly. Boom, the up the tip and uh, you could get a very nice uh, even coat all right next i will uh, use again this bottle to apply a little bit glaze on the rim here and then wax it okay wax it so i have a green color a very green green color and then a light very light green color here Then I'm going to uh, just partially coat it with uh, wax resist. And again, this is the uh, plain wax, no ottoman hydrate. Just in the uh, uh, center, just coat it. And the outer part, I will have uh, the overlap the second glaze to overlap okay wait until the uh, wax completely dry and then I'm gonna dip it in the uh, very light green color right the uh, wax is not completely dry but uh, I would just leave it as is The uh, glaze is not enough and the pocket wasn't deep enough either. So inside, I don't have a glaze and also on um, the outside, almost get closer to the rim, I didn't have a glaze. So I'm going to uh, patch it. Uh, again, the same method uh, using the uh, little uh, bubble bottle to, uh, to patch the glaze. Right, I just find out that this was different glaze. I forgot to change it to the light green. This is the dark green color. Uh, anyway, it's fine. Uh, we'll see the result. Okay, light green color. I changed the color back. And, uh, the, the inside I'm going to uh, patch it too because I don't have a glaze inside.
we will see the result. Uh, different glaze on the very bottom portion, the same glaze on the rim. So uh, we shall see the result and see if that is interesting too. All right, uh, I promised to show you the result of the uh, uh, colander, the fairy ball, fruit ball, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I did the uh, green color and then I put a little bit of a green, uh, dark green. And the combination turned out uh, to be blue. Okay, the, the overlapping part is blue. And also I uh, accidentally uh, put in the uh, dark green glaze on the bottom. But uh, it turned out fine because uh, the, the rim and the bottom uh, uh, looks like I intentionally do it that way. Um, the uh, the holes, uh, some of the holes were black. I didn't uh, I clean up very well. Uh, it got black, but I think it's fine as long as it doesn't uh, affect the uh, result. So I guess I want to show you the uh, result after I uh, glaze and fire it. Um, overall, I'm happy with this piece. Right, and I think I did this piece on uh, video number 462. Uh, it's a very popular one. So, uh, this is the final product, final result. Um, the uh, glaze is very uh, forgiving, so even some of the part is very thick, some of the part is thinner, it's not uh, affect the whole looking. So, alright, so that concludes my uh, glaze demonstration, and I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed my explanation.